citizens wishing to address the commission. First on the list is Jim Slusher. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Commissioners. Mr. Marlowe, Director of Finance, has proposed a 16% plus increase in property taxes. The largest tax increase in the history of the county. Wasn't the last tax increase enough? A wheel tax and an increase in property taxes? What did we get for this? Answer, nothing. Where is the fiscal planning for the county? We have a director of finance to keep this county running with efficiency, effectiveness, and accountability. Did this tax increase come as a surprise to you, to our legislative body? Any commissioner that votes for an increase in taxes may have served their last term in office. Next year, your monstrosity called the Justice Center will open if the fire marshal ever gives approval to this boondoggle that's halfway complete. Although promised by Mr. Marlowe that there will be no additional cost, I'm guessing $500,000 plus tax increase. Then there's the issue of pay raises that have gone unaddressed for years. Next year, another tax increase. We are in the greatest recession since the Depression. Yet nothing has been cut except Mr. Potter's elimination of nine positions. His reward, no budget increases for asphalt. He'll probably be blamed for the proposed increase in the 16.5. In my opinion, that's called scapegoating. Do as he suggested and find the money in the existing budget. It's there. In the meantime, our county roads are going down the tubes. As a taxpayer, I'm angry that the taxpayers are being gouged and taxed out of their homes. To bring better government to Campbell County, we need a complete change in leadership. Many of you have not served our best interests. You are a failure. The citizens of this county are forbidden from speaking at regular commission meetings without special permission of the board. Very unlikely to happen. Is this fair to the taxpayers? It's our money and our county. I encourage anyone in attendance this evening to speak on this subject. Again, the largest increase in taxes in the history of the county. It may be your last chance. And now the county's mayor, the chief administrative officer, he should be required to keep his thumb on the county's finances. And a disgraceful tax increase would not be dumped on the county's taxpayers. The director of finance would no longer be known as the most powerful person in the county. And we've all heard it. Maybe we need to bring in Wisconsin's governor to show how it's done, since evidently our so-called county leaders can't do it. In closing, it is your responsibility to protect and represent the taxpayers. You didn't get it right with the last tax increase. It was wasted. Maybe the taxpayers will get lucky, and you'll get it right this time. I'm not going to hold my breath. Please don't tax citizens out of their homes. You have lived as a commission beyond your means. You know it, and you expect us to pick up the tab. You don't deserve an increase in anything. We should be taxed for something. Why should we be taxed for something we're already paying for? This is double taxation. As a side note, I am pleased to see the first district commissioner Mr. Atkins is finally in attendance at the Planning Commission and the County Commission meetings. I thought he'd quit. It is time for him to represent the citizen. Thank you.
Me too. <laughs> he uh, expressed everything that I feel and a little more. I have on three years running asked that something be done for our little road out on the lake where there are some very costly homes. People like to sell them, people like to rent them, etc., etc. But the roads are in pretty pitiful shape. We need some help, folks. We don't need a tax increase. We need a redivision of the pie. Because some folks getting a little too much, other folks not getting near enough. I think you need to go back to the drawing board and read by that pie a little bit. You know, it's good to support schools, you know, who wouldn't, it's like motherhood and apple pie. But you can't give them the whole enchilada either. The rest of us want to live and have to get something for our money just as they are getting something for theirs. You know, we pay a good piece of tax out in my neck of the woods. I live next near Jim, but not with not in the same immediate area. Uh, just <clears throat> would like to uh, ask you to take another look at this budget. Forget the tax increase. I'm getting to the point where I can't pay anymore. I got enough bills. I think all of you have enough bills. You have to redivide the budget to make it make some sense for everybody, not just one group. I'm just asking for the rule of reason and just to think about this. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. 